All right, here's your quick tip. Folks have been asking what I use as a painting surface for doing these studies um, for our video lessons. I use a 110 pound uh, card stock that I get from Georgia Pacific. A very, um, very sturdy card stock. And I just saw it. And I want to show you how to do that because there's a considerable savings of money for doing studies. Artists will often be concerned about spending um, the amount of money you usually have to spend for canvas or canvas boards or that kind of thing just for doing studies. This cuts way down on the cost. It's a good surface. So let me show you how I do it. I have gesso. You can get gesso from any art supply store. Let me emphasize here it should be acrylic gesso. I put it in this uh, square container just a little bit at a time in the bottom and then I use this roller which is just a um, sponge roller that you can find it at any hardware store or Walmart or you know those kinds of stores and I load it really good like this um, then I give it a good quick coat like this now notice when I roll it these huge big old bubbles that, that appear okay that's not to worry about I let that set for just a few seconds um, to sort of it will begin to dry almost instantly then I I just allow the roller to gently just not have any pressure on it whatsoever holding it as if um, just letting it glide across it like that and that will dissolve those bubbles now you see they're not all dissolved because it's still a bit damp so I'll just keep working it like that back and forth like that you see now almost all the bubbles are gone I just saw both sides um, if you don't do that it's going to curl besides by gessoing both sides you have a, a sturdier paper to work with now what happens do they just a little more uh, usually we'll wait wait just a little bit longer so that the texture is going to be finer there we go just like that okay that's a really wonderful surface for uh, for doing the studies on it gives you a nice little surface for painting what I do is I don't spend quite as much time refining it on the back side um, once the back side is dry I exit I put a little X there to let, let me know that's the back side and then I turn it over and I give another coat to the other side that's going to be my painting side and I, I uh, work that one quite um, carefully so that I get an even surface. So you see just this little bit of time we've waited and it's going to give us a smoother surface. One thing to, uh, oops, got a little, alright, one thing to, uh, uh, to note here is that this surface does feel a little bit rough, almost like a little bit of sandpaper. So uh, once it's dry and ready to go, give it a little hit with the sandpaper to get that roughness off and then the next thing I do is I give it just a before I start painting give it a, a very very light coat of a mixture of 50% linseed oil and 50% uh, mineral spirits wipe that off until most of it's gone away and it's a wonderful painting surface um, there's a little cost analysis I want to show you and that is A price comparison with the the cheapest thing I know of that's available on the market for doing um, inexpensive studies are the canvas pads. Um, the, it, it, the canvas pads are ten sheets and a pad. And uh, if you were to do all of your studies on canvas pads, 150 sheets would cost you about ninety dollars. If you did all of your studies on gessoed cardstock. Um, the total cost 150 sheets would be $32 so that's a considerable savings and to use this method just might encourage you to do more and more studies okay that's your quick tip